Hi there, welcome back. This is a lecture 2 in the series of various tutorials of the channel Mechanical Engineering Explained and in this lecture we will be dealing with Vapor Absorption Refrigeration System. So what is this Vapor Absorption Refrigeration System? Vapor Absorption Refrigeration System in this, this is a basically a modification of Vapor Compression Refrigeration System in which the compressor in which the compressor of vapor compression refrigeration system is replaced by an absorber generator and a pressure reducing type expansion valve this is the basic circuit diagram of vapor absorption refrigeration system in which the this portion that is this portion from here to here these three components remain the same from VCRS cycle and this is the modification the compressor of VCRS is completely replaced by this circuit this circuit in which this is absorber pump and pressure reducing type expansion valve and generator now what is this the conventional that is the heat is absorbed by the liquid refrigerant present here it gets converted into the vapor form the vapor they travel here and absorber this is absorber here here absorbent is present this absorbent should have high affinity for these vapors which are coming from this direction these vapor get absorbed in the absorber and finally they reject some heat and these and the absorbed liquid it is called strong solution this is called strong here it is called strong solution strong solution strong solution the strong solution because it has high concentration of refrigerant so it is called a strong solution the strong solution which is in liquid form is pumped and it is delivered into the generator the generator here the generator it uses low grade energy most commonly in India and uh, abroad also we use solar energy as the low grade energy and it is given into the generator the generator takes the heat the liquid air it gets converted and gets separated the because the absorbent here which was having high affinity at low temperature now it has low affinity at high temperature so the vapor refrigerant which were absorbed here will now be released from this solution liquid solution and they will travel and finally they will go and follow the basic VCRS cycle the solution the concentration of refrigerant will reduce here so it will call it will be called weak solution now this weak solution it will be pumped back by a pressure reducing valve at the same absorber pressure by this this line this is this is showing okay now there are five main type of heat associated that is QE heat absorbed or refrigeration effect QA heat released in absorber QG heat given to the generator that is low grade solar energy QP or W that is the pump work and QC heat rejected in condenser that is this this is QC QE QA QG and W here W also okay now by energy balance heat input is equal to heat output so QE plus QG plus W is equal to QC plus QA this is one equation which can be used in numerical to calculate the heat rejected uh, QC or uh, QA whereas we main focus is to find the COP COP is given by QE upon W plus QG that is 
refrigeration effect upon total work input. Here W is the pump work and QG is the heat that is supplied in the generator. Okay. Now for a system to be efficient and for maximum COP the affinity of this absorbent that is the absorbent present in the absorber it should be high for these low, low vapor at low temperature. These vapor will then be easily absorbed in the absorber and then the strong solution will be pumped and here also it will the absorbent should have low affinity for the refrigerant at high temperature so that the refrigerant can be easily separated on applying the heat energy on raising the temperature. So here the refrigeration refrigerant concentration decreases and this is called weak solution. The weak solution then is brought to the same absorber pressure via pressure reducing type expansion valve. Okay. Now analysis. Here you can see this I have taken two systems. One is the refrigeration system. This one is the refrigeration system and here it is the heat engine system. The work output from the heat engine is the work input for the refrigeration system for the refrigerator. This is T corresponding to the temperature of evaporator, TA corresponding to temperature of absorber, corresponding to the temperature of generator and condenser respectively. And this is the W that is pump work. Now COP since our COP was QE plus QE upon QG plus W whereas QG is much much larger than W so we can write COP nearly equal to QE upon QG. Now multiplying and dividing by W we can write COP equal to QE by W into W by QG. Now for maximum COP none can be greater than Carnot. So COP maximum of Carnot is equal to QE by W max into W by QG max. Now QE by W this is COP of a refrigerator. So it can be written as T upon TA minus T because COP of refrigerator is T lower upon T higher minus T lower. So here it is T lower T upon T higher minus T lower that is TA minus T. So COP is T upon TA minus T into now this word W by QG. So W by QG is equal to efficiency of a reversible heat engine operating between TC and TG. So refrigeration so efficiency of Carnot heat engine is 1 minus T lower upon T higher that is 1 minus T lower upon T higher this is lower this is higher okay so 1 minus Tc upon Tg so here 1 minus Tc upon Tg so finally Tg multiply taking in numerator and solving so COP maximum becomes T upon Ta minus T into Tg minus Tc upon Tg this is the maximum COP formula and this derivation is most commonly asked and I have done it in the most simple way possible and in various books they have taken different approach but this is the most common this is the most easy I say okay so there are mainly two type of VRS systems one is NH3H2O that is ammonia H2O system and other is lithium bromide H2O system whereas this one is most common NH3H2O system in NH3H2O system H2O is absorbent that is H2O is taken as a liquid in absorber and NH3 is taken as a refrigerant for the refrigeration purpose so H since H2O has very high affinity for NH3 vapors at low temperature so and uh, very low affinity for, refri uh, for NH3 refrigerant at high temperature so it can function 
very well from here we take h2o and h3 vapor come they get absorbed here a strong solution is formed and h3 plus h2o liquid strong solution is pumped here the the affinity at higher temperature because of the heat supplied the temperature increases so the affinity of water for uh, nitro for ammonia vapors it decreases so ammonia vapor gets separated and the refrigeration concentration here it decreases and so it is termed as weak solution and uh, it is again brought to absorber pressure by pressure reducing valve and the ammonia vapors they continue in condenser where heat is rejected so here liquid plus vapor is formed and nh3 and after expansion valve nh3 liquid is formed and from evaporator it takes the latent heat from surroundings and again the refrigeration cycle continues so this is the basic VARS system and uh, I hope this video has helped you and to understand its basic fundamental and how the derivation is done and what is the role of individual components of the system and uh, and so thank you please press like if you like the video comment if you have any doubt share with your friends colleagues etc and please don't forget to press the subscribe button till next time signing off uh, thank you i will be taking similar lecture in uh, next and uh, it will be related to refrigeration only in next lecture also thank you